It might seem like a small task, but nobody has been up to stopping Oregon State's five foot six freshman running back, Jacquez Rogers. Today, the Cougs got a chance looking for their first conference win in Corvallis. And the Cougars looking pumped before taking the field today. It wouldn't last long as OSU jumped out to the early lead. Lyle Moy Vow up high to Shane Morales. He makes a nice grab and puts the Beavers up 14-0 early in the first. But the Cougs found some fight. Myron Beck with some pickeration here. Then he's showing off the moves. If John Langler was on a football field, folks, this is what he looked like there. Slippery. Returns at 24 yards, and the good guys are in business. Five plays later, they would be in the end zone. The Cougs are injured at running back, but that doesn't stop Chad Staden from getting in for six. And the Cougs, they would miss the PAT, but the fans still cheering as they trail 21-6. But they would soon add seven more. Lewis Bland looking spicy here, the pick and the run back. And he leaves nothing to chance. Scores making it a 21-13 ball game. There's more to cheer for for the Cougs fans, but OSU would pull away this passing catch, making it a 38-13 contest. And the Beavs add on some more to win it 66-13. to That Rogers kid we were talking about had over 140 yards rushing. And even though it was pretty lopsided on the scoreboard, Rick Lukens reports there were quite a few positives. It was looking like another one of those Pac-10 defeats for the Cougars until a stretch in the second quarter when the defense kicked in and got the Cougars back in the ball game, setting up two touchdowns. Kids started believing and made a few plays. And something we've been trying to get our players to do all year is just make some plays, whether it be on offense and defense. Generally, when you can make some plays, you build momentum and build confidence. In the second quarter, I mean, our whole morale as a team was up. You know, we came in the halftime thinking we, you know, we had a chance to come out and play hard, but we just, we just need to start fast both halves. We, we were just starting real slow in the beginning of the game and at the second half, and that's killing us really. For the first time this season, the Cougars felt like a real Pac-10 football team. It felt like football. I mean, it felt like, you know, a football game, you know, not like we're trying not to lose by so much, you know, it was actually felt like we were trying to win for once. They hope to carry just a little of that feeling over to next week when they host the USC Trojans in Pullman. From Corvallis, Oregon, Rick Lukens, KXLY 4HD News.